Good morning, folks. We've got minor events rebuilding on our star, an aesthetic piece, and some super flare cycle learning. And no matter what, there's going to be good reason to come here tomorrow morning as well. We're at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun went from quiet to minor activity at the bright active regions. Filaments are dancing, corona hole extending from the North Pole. The CME we were expecting was so faint overnight it's barely visible in the data stream, but the rise in X-ray flaring is a bit more obvious after that 36-hour break in the middle. We'll be mostly eyeing the more developed spots on the left, north, and south, with the central spots remaining smaller and the big group bottom right heading towards the far side. Grab a warm coffee because we're headed to cold regions next with the caribou. Seven major herds in North America, and they've been tracking them. Interestingly, they haven't the first clue what guides their migrations. Literally, not even a good guess, considered one of the greater mysteries of the modern animal kingdom. To get our heads around the top story, we need to first understand that the Glaceberg cycle of about 88 years is actually the Carrington event half harmonic. It can range from 75 years to 100 actually, which is why the Carrington event happens every 150 to 200 years two Gleisberg cycles, and we should expect a major event on those half harmonics as well. Folks, today we get the second possible candidate for that event. The 1940 geomagnetic storm was likely triggered by an X35 solar flare that's creeping into small super flare range, so let's take a look at our two Gleisberg candidates from the very last cycle. After the Carrington event in 1859, it would have been 81 years up to 1940 within the appropriate range, and another 81 years up to now, meaning the next one could be tomorrow or in the next decade and a half. The other option is the 1946 storm. I've always figured that one was a combination of two or three events, but it does have to count as one of the candidates around that time frame. And yes, we do get severe solar storms in between, we always do, but those seem to be more randomly peppered and none came with the flare at X35. Folks, the next one is the full harmonic back up to Carrington level at least. And of course, from the data, it appears the 1,500, 3,000, 6,000, and even 12,000 year larger versions of that cycle are all due to reset in the next one. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Again, I promise there's reason to show up tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.